So, one division has been going for seven episodes now. Uh, episode eight and nine are going to be kind of the climax of it. I'm guessing that it's probably going to be a two-part for it, or just I don't know. Like, don't matter about that. Um, but if I'm being honest, one division I'd give it a seven out of ten so far. It's done really well. Um, it's the most watched TV show in the world at the moment. Um, Disney Plus kind of crashed because of how many people wanted to watch it, which is nuts. Um, so, episode 8 and 9 are probably the most hyped episodes we have at the moment. Episode 9 is going to be kind of like the key turning point for Phase 4. I feel like Phase, not Phase 8, Episode 8 will kind of introduce the turning point. And right here, you can't see it if you're wondering, black paper. Behind this, I've got my predictions for episode 8 and 9 of One Division, and I'm going to read them out to you right now. But before I continue, just to let you know, these are my predictions only. This is what I'm predicting. Um, don't take them seriously. It's, some of these are a joke, some of these I've put some thought into. Um, if you want to disagree, put a comment down below what you think will happen in One Division episode 8 and 9. Obviously, I'm open to hearing your thoughts about it. Um, obviously, one division is a very discussed topic at the moment, um, but we all know that it won't be for long because we've got Falcon with the Soldier in March, then we've got Bad Batch in May, and then we've got Loki in June, Spider Man, uh, Far From No, No Way Home. That was not just it. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff was not just during my recording of Universe Mode, uh, such as Paul White going to AEW and stuff like that. But, aside from that, let's get into this video. I've probably done enough now. But the first one is Wanda Becomes Evil. Now, we saw Wanda uh, get mind controlled by Agnes or Agatha, um, very catchy song, uh, at the end of episode 7, and I feel like that is how. Wanda will become the main antagonist of Doctor Strange. Uh, I feel like Agatha is going to turn into somewhat, somewhat of a Thanos character and make everyone do stuff for her until it's time for her to come out of her cave and do it herself. Uh, the next one I have is that the Hex will become unstable and lose control and will exponentially expand. Um, obviously we know that the Hex will pretty much cause the multiverse or the collapse of all realities into one or something, who knows. But I think that before that it will grow massively and maybe cause a time rift or something that will cause the multiverse to happen. Um, but I feel like the Hex for it to actually cause the multiverse has to expand exponentially before it does. And I feel like that's what Agatha's going to make Wanda do. So, the third one I have here is Doctor Strange or Spider-Man will show up. Um, obviously, we know that these, well, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and One Vision are all like a very loosely linked trilogy, um, from what we've heard. Um, and I feel like these would be the two most sensible choices to appear in WandaVision. Obviously there's the link between Monica Rambeau and Captain Marvel, but I would highly doubt they get Brie Larson in for a TV show. Um, I feel like Benedict and Tom would be more open to it. Brie would just be a bit bitchy about it, honestly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'd see these two being the ones going into the hex maybe or having something important to do with the freedom well free and wonder of Agatha. But anyways, um also we heard about the Kevin Kevin Feige saying and Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Elizabeth Olsen saying that there's a moment in Wonder Vision that is parallel to Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian. And if I'm being honest, I I've gone out on a limb here. Um, 
I've just guessed that when Spider-Man walks into the hex, he will change into Tobey Maguire. He'll go from Tom Holland to Tobey Maguire, change into the uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, as long as he's in the hex. That's my guess. Obviously, it probably won't be right. It's very hard to predict what it will be, um, especially as it's all a shot in the dark. Nothing much to really say. But I'd say that Spider-Man will change from Tom Holland to Tobey Maguire when he goes into the hex. And the hex will change so much that he'll like to change your appearance. Like everything. Except from your core memories. But next up, um, I've got Mephisto will be revealed as a big bad guy. So, so far we have learned that Agatha will probably be the big bad guy, but I don't feel like she will be just, it will just be her. I don't feel like she could just pull this off all by herself. Um, I feel like Mephisto will play a key part in how Wanda is presented in the next couple of films. Um, I definitely don't see Agatha be a, being able to control Wanda for long. Yeah, I feel like Agatha is probably a lot less powerful than Wanda and only was able to buy control her because she caught her off guard. Um, but I feel like that Wanda would come to a sense that he's easy break out of it without the power of someone like Bethesda. Uh, this actually links into the next one. Uh, that How would Bethesda get in there? In the hex, without changing anything or not? Forgetting anything, or as one or as Agatha makes him forget anything, maybe Agatha could open it up for him. Or what I think is that, um, obviously, you remember the Halloween episode where Wanda expanded the hex, we saw it expand for the first time. Um, in that episode, we heard Pietro say to Billy and Tommy, Raise Hell Demon Spawn, and I think that. They will take that literally and actually make Billy and Tommy the demons born for Bethesda. And that's maybe how he would get into the hex is using their uh, just their bodies as spawn and just use them to get into the hex. And that's how you teleport in there. But the next one is I think that Vision will die because of Wanda, not because he saved everyone. And that's probably why he would need the help of Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, or, or Spider-Man, not and. Um, I thought it would be a scenario again where Wanda will have to kill Vision, or Wanda will just have forgotten who Vision is because of Agatha's mind control, and she'd just kill everyone without remorse and she'd do that to Vision but also you got to make the point that wouldn't Wanda have made Vision immortal in the hex at the time uh, I don't know but I feel like Vision will die to Wanda again um, it just makes sense I don't feel like they would I don't feel like they keep Paul Bettany on for a long term as Vision, but at the same time, Paul Bettany is such a top class actor that why wouldn't they keep him on? And like, why would they bring back a TV show about Wonder Vision if they weren't going to keep him alive? So, in one way, I think I'm right, in one way, I think I don't. It's a toss up with this one, but if Vision was to die, I feel like Wonder or um, Hayward would be the ones to kill him. Uh, second to last one is that I think Monica will, use, will get used to her powers and start using them to their full effects by the last episode. Now that might seem a bit confusing and just a bit too quick but I feel like Monica would easily adapt and be able to use them on a more regular basis than she is because she hardly used them in the last episode even though she just got on. I know that kind of sounds weird but I mean, if you're a superhero, you're going to easily adapt, aren't you? Um, and obviously, I feel like 
Monica will be able to easily adapt to her new powers and kind of get the sense of what they are, be able to, like, fully understand them. Well, not fully understand them, but understand the basic capabilities of capabilities of them and use them to their full effect. Um, the last one I've got on here is that the Nexus will be the cause of the multiverse. So the Hex, the Nexus, and the multiverse will all link and they will cause a chain reaction. So the Hex expands exponentially which will create the Nexus which will create different pathways in the Hex and then the Hex will have like some sort of rift or something that will cause the Hex to break but if it decided not to so all the different realities are exposed to Earth 616 and all realities will pretty much be on one planet and I feel like that would happen because of maybe Agatha um, because if you look at Spider-Man Far From Home, one of the teachers who asked um, how could a, there be a war monster, um, one of the teachers responded with witches, so I feel like Agatha would have something to do with the creation of, uh, or some sort of witch, maybe not Agatha, maybe, who knows, but um, I feel like they would a uh, witch or Agatha would have something to do with the creation of something on a molecular scale that isn't possible in our reality and that's how I think that I feel like she would create the multiverse and create some new next level shit that we that everyone would have to overcome but that's all I have for the predictions today um, yeah, some of these are interesting, some of these I kind of just guessed, I just thought off the top of my head. Some, like the one with um, the Vision one and the one with uh, the Nexus and Mephesto, them ones, the last couple, I, they were serious ones. The other ones I'm a bit sceptical about still. But, uh, thank you all for watching. Before you go, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're on the road to 100 subs. Uh, we're currently at 77. We had a massive increase after the chase. Um, yeah, it's going well so far. Uh, me and Chris have got some ideas, and it's going well. The drawing board, we went back to it on some stuff, and uh, we're already past that stage, so. The next one should be coming soon. Um, we have discussed March 13th as one of the potential dates for the next one. But we could do it sooner, we could do it later. Never know. Um, March, could be a big month for this channel. Um, I'm planning on doing a lot of stuff. Um, if you thought February was mad, was um, mad. Because February is like my most viewed month of all time. So February was a bit nuts. March is going to be fucking better, honestly. You'll want to stay tuned for this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you all stay safe, obviously, COVID and that. <sighs> but take care. Um, I hope you have a great day, wherever you are. My Jedi and Sith friends, or my Nar, or my Marvel nerds, or my wrestling nerds, or my boxing geeks or just my film fanatics um, I'm getting back into the rhythm and yeah I'll catch you all later take care um, peace